startling. Uncomfortable. Yeah. Oh no. Gets as much air out as possible. Right. Uh, what are we doing today? Exclusively for our restaurant customers. We do bag in a box. That's gonna fall off. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know that's slippery. We kind of do bag in a box, kind of on demand, exclusively for restaurants and hospitalities, for our hospitality customers, because restaurants, especially in the last uh, couple of years, are pretty price sensitive, and we have a premium product. Uh, but restaurants often don't need all the fancy packaging, and Honestly, the packaging is often more expensive than um, actual the bottle itself uh, in a lot of cases. Um, so this way, we're cutting down on packaging. We're using as low cost materials as possible, like these um, stickers. Those are free. Um, boxes, we got grant funding for. Um, this is actually like an old pandemic plan where we had bought, honestly, right. we bought these boxes and all the bag in a box. We were gonna do a bag in a box sangria with red wine. Yeah. Back yeah. when we had a license that allowed that, but we don't anymore. Um, but we got all the bags and all the boxes. And In just, literally 2020. <laughs> and we've been sitting on them for, well, three years. And then finally Michaela, uh, built, built this uh, little custom filler, which we'll all show once we start filling. But this way we can kind of fill bag in a box at a small scale on demand. Like, you know, we've got two bag in a box orders for restaurants this week from doing deliveries today. And we're out, so we're just gonna you know, fill 10 more and then it lasts us a couple weeks. And I mean, this whole process, maybe it takes half hour or whatever. And I've got a, a drum here of our rosa vermouth, I've got another drum of our dry vermouth, and we kind of uh, keep those on hand so that we can just kind of fill uh, on demand. These are not available for the public, it is solely just restaurants, but the restaurants don't mind, and we actually supply them with like a, like a single empty uh, hero bottle that we can kind of use to, to go. Is it time to do recycling? <laughs> yes, uh, but I tossed the paper and I thought it fell in the bucket of water we have back there, which by the way is full and needs to be empty. Condensation from our walking cooler. Uh, okay, I'll... Uh, Are you gonna start glue gunning? Yeah. I, we, we, well, we, you don't need to help me, honestly. So, like, I can... Well, do we want to show the whole setup? And you've never seen 2001 A Space Odyssey yeah, before. Yeah, yeah I know. We, we, it. we no, we, we that, that that's kind of a lie. Uh, we fake watched it. Where, where I think we watched the we first. Watched the first bit and like I don't think we saw like an hour's worth of it. I don't know. An, an hour was to to when they did the intermission. It was an hour seventeen they did intermission. Yeah. So I'd say we watched like the first maybe twenty minutes. Whatever. Yeah. We are movie. Yeah, so neither of us had actually seen it, uh, but we got to, where did we get to see it? Uh, the, I don't know, the Royal BC Museum in Victoria. And it was yeah, which, really which the, cool. they were saying was the so seven stores. Store. Yeah. Um, and how did we, how did we get to see it on IMAX? Uh, we are, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. Um, it's like a big theater in Victoria. <laughs> So they do like 
we've seen we've seen it three times now, but we haven't seen it in a theater, so that was really cool as well. Um, yeah, so that was fun, but that's also why we're so tired. Is we, every day this week has been a massive, long production day, and then yesterday was the added stress of like trying to make it to the theater in time, and we literally rushed there. The concession, luckily, had hot dogs, so we had movie theater hot dogs and popcorn for dinner, and then watched the movie. So now we are tired. Uh, yeah, it was really great. It was super fun. Oh yeah, so tell me about this uh, bottle filler that you built. I, the filler. So we have made it out of cutting boards from Wholesale Club behind us, uh, which is, we've built also our bottle sanitizer um, out of that. Like the apparatus that sanitizes our bottles. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because it is material that you can wipe down and keep sanitary, but you can also cut it like wood and kind of make whatever you want. So, uh, and one of the reasons we did this was because bottle fillers, even like the very most basic ones were like minimum $300, but going up to like 700 for very, very basic bottles. Um, and we're doing it on such a small scale. We're that... doing it on a small scale. So I bought this and then we have a uh, filler gun, which I'm gonna get in one second. I'm just gonna... So one of the most important things is to make sure that you never have a vacuum if you're taking liquids uh, in and out of a tank um, because if the pressure is great enough, the tank can actually implode. This is a small scale. So How would a vacuum get made right? in? How would a vacuum get made in there? If everything's totally sealed and then you open a valve and as the liquid goes out, it basically there's no way for or air to go in, so it pulls the vacuum down. As and implodes. And it implodes, yeah. Um, there's a brewery, uh, Phillips has like a giant tank outside and they have an implosion ale or- I, I think it's implosion pilsner or something. Whatever yeah. it is, yeah. Um, Named after a tank that imploded. A tank that like- literally But like a big, like 20,000 liter one. A huge tank. Uh, so that's our motivation to not do that. Um, we're just gonna gravity it, so all that entails is literally Okay, so while you are getting set up, because you are the resident movie buff, um, what, as having never seen it before, what is your review of 2001 A Space Odyssey as seen in the IMAX? Okay, so it's an iconic movie that is interesting and visually and auditorily like it's, it was literally so loud at some points that like people were covering their ears. Oh, I I, I did. There was the like that high pitch. High pitch beat. Yes. And on the IMAX, like it was like it was startling. Uncomfortable. Yeah. Well, it was startling, and then it was like uncomfortable. So stunning and iconic, and it's really cool having never seen it before, but obviously seeing so many movies that reference it. Most recently, like the Barbie movie. Um, Barbie movie ref reference it? Oh, you, you've never seen the trailer? No, I haven't even watched oh, the, the movie. Oh, the trailer in the first scene in the movie is recreating the Dawn of Man. Oh. It's amazing. Oh, yes. okay. So it was really cool to see kind of where all these references actually came from. At the same time, really weird movie. Uh, and kind of boring? Oh. I don't know, it's it, very slow. It's it was a slow It's extremely burn. slow, and there's very little plot. Um, well, no, I would say there's a lot of plot, but it's a lot of plot that, like, you come up with your, with, like, in your own brain as you're sitting there thinking and watching and listening to 20 minutes of some guy breathing. Yeah, like, there's just, there's so little dialogue that moves things But along. your brain is going, like, okay, it, like, kind of almost fills in the plot blanks. I guess so, but... At least mine did. And I've locked my table legs. The one of the best things we've ever done in our production space is put things on wheels. Uh, we were in a commissary space before, and all of their tables did not have wheels on them, and it was really difficult. Oh, hold on one second. 
I just want to get a glass. Um, I just want to get a glass and do a little taste test before we fill. Um, sorry, okay, yes, wheels, and also you're not done your amazing, wonderful review of 2001 Space Odyssey. Oh, uh, long, boring, beautiful, weird, iconic. But like really weird. Very strange. But, <laughs> but it was fun too, and also they did it with like the, pro it, it's shown in theaters like with an intermission, or I don't know if, if you stream it, if the intermission still yeah. shows up, but that was kind of fun. And they have like concession open again during. But, but what about like the, the the concepts of what happens in space are well known now in the general public because we've seen so many sci-fi movies and you know videos of yeah, Chris Hadfield on the ISIS and whatnot. But before the uh, um, not the ISIS, the ISS. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, whatever. Uh, Terrorist organization, International Space Station. Or ISIS is also, I think, the god of fertility. Oh. Yeah, it came out before the moon landing, so that it's also interesting thinking about like how. But I feel like they were demonstrating spacey things as if it was like, oh my god, have you ever thought about how people would walk in gravity or a yeah. pen floating about? And, and it was very cool to see like I, this has been talked about so many times before about like how he like predicted the future with like video. All, like only those who watch movie podcasts or listen to movie podcasts know that this has been talked about a whole bunch before. Most folks have just not. Uh, but yeah, like video calls and uh, iPads and like so many things. Yeah. Kind of like, anyway, interesting. Uh, and space fashion, so good. Uh, space design, always love it. Can you uh, run this just some into there, but run a little bit first just to get the sanitizer out so I'm not taste testing sanitizer? Okay, so one thing before we open any valves is we make sure that our Valves are closed and valves are tight. Seals are tight, yeah. Yeah, just pur purge that hose out and then dump it. Yeah, I don't know. I thought it was neat for both of us, having never seen it, to have seen it in IMAX and just like it, it just encompasses, like fills your entire f field of vision. Yeah. Uh, it, was, it was quite neat. Uh, oh, yeah, you, you, you do taste that as well. Tastes like Rosa? Mmm. Tastes like Rosa. Where's where it leaking from? The end of it. What, what do you mean the it's end? It's like dripping. Oh, um, that is an indi so, an indication there is air getting in to the line somewhere. Be because if it was sealed totally, then there would be enough of a meniscus to stop that from drip, 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 drip. Whereas it's drip, drip, dripping because there is air in the line somehow. I mean, mind you, that is a very wide opening in the front. Yeah. Maybe it doesn't just need to be a bit on a bit of a more extreme angle facing back towards you. Yeah, I mean, it does drip a little bit, and then it's kind of not doing as much anymore. Yeah. Yeah. And we also saw when we were in IMAX that they're going to be doing Oppenheimer on IMAX soon. I just watched it on the weekend. Not, not Arpen, Oppenbarbie? Yeah. Barbenheimer? Barbenheimer. Not Barbie, though. How do you know when it's done filling? Uh, weight and combination of it just being at a certain fill height. Yeah. Um, uh, and what? How much are we trying to get in there? Three liters. So it's a half case. We do cases of twelve normally. Um, Why are you tapping it? And I'm tapping it just to get all of. You can see all of these air bubbles. Gets as much air out as possible. Right. Um, what, what did you like more, Barbie or Oppenheimer? Tough question. I like them for different reasons. No, so. no, 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 not different. What did you like more? Straight up, what was better? I think I liked Barbie more. But barely. I really liked Oppenheimer. But Barbie was more... It was funner. I go to the movies to have fun. Oppenheimer is, like, serious. And then this is... But a way to just pop. And there we go. I 
like in a box. And then I need to glue up the boxes and slip the bags in. Sweet. Bing, bang, boom. Yay, movies! Um, Go to the movies. How many of these are we making? Huh? How, how many are we making? Doing a lot in total. Okay. Toodaloo.